What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp for Layout tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about how to use clipping masks in layout to really fine tune your views within your plans. So before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training within SketchUp. It's basically the equivalent of taking a two day introduction to SketchUp course. It also contains a complete layout section. So if you want to learn how to set up your models for creating plans within layout. Um, more information can be found in the course at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you remember, I recently did a video on using multiple different section cuts to simulate widths or to simulate smaller section cut widths within SketchUp. So basically allowing you to adjust the width of your section planes. Um, this definitely works within SketchUp for adjusting the visibility within your model, but it's really kind of complicated because you have to deal with creating different groups and then putting different section cuts inside different groups and making sure the right ones turned on. And uh, so there's a much easier way to do this if you're creating things for use within layout. So my 3D warehouse model for the day is the Beach House by SZ Kristoff. So I will link both to this model as well as to his whole collection of models in the notes down below. But this is a great detailed model of a beach house within SketchUp. And so you can see how this basically has two levels in it. It has a kitchen, it has a dining room, a living room, all of those different things. Well, in this case, let's say that I wanted to come in here and I wanted to create an elevation view of this kitchen. And so the first thing we would have to do is we would have to come in and add a section plane. So you can just go over to uh, your large tool set and add a section plane, or you can also go up to tools, section plane. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this to the green axis by tapping the left arrow key. You can see how basically this locks this so that this doesn't try to inference to the other axes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna click to set my section plane. And so once my plane is set, I can go ahead and use the move tool to move that plane around to get what I want to see in here. So in this case, I'm gonna move this forward until it's kind of past the stairs, until it's to a point where it's not cutting into the refrigerator within the kitchen. So you can see how I'm basically taking a section plane across my whole building. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a view that's appropriate for layout. So in this case, I'm just going to take the front view right here and I'm going to come to kind of zoom in a little bit. And you can see how right now this has perspective turned on. So you don't get that perfect straight up and down view that we want for our plans. So we're just going to go up to camera parallel projection and we're just going to turn that off. And so you can see how when we turn perspective off, this gives us a great up and down view. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna adjust this style. So I'm gonna adjust it to the hidden line style. I'm gonna make a couple changes. I'm gonna go to the edit tab and I'm gonna go to my, whoops. I'm gonna go to my line styles and I'm gonna turn profiles on. And I'm just gonna leave profiles at the same thickness as my edges, which is just one. And then I'm gonna go into my face settings and I'm gonna set my faces instead of hidden line mode, I'm gonna set them to shaded using textures. And so this gives me a view with some kind of standard line weights. It gives me kind of a decent elevation view. It gives me something to work with. And in this case, since I've made changes to this, uh, the style, I'm just gonna click this button to update that and save that within my style. Once I've done all of that, I'm just gonna go to view animation and I'm gonna add a scene. And so basically what this scene is gonna do is this scene is gonna be my kitchen view. And you can go ahead and come in here and add a second scene if you want to, um, just to give us another view of the kitchen. So in this case, it's gonna be a left view and I'm actually gonna adjust that just a bit so that I'm not cutting through my table. And so we'll go back to the left view And we'll just kind of set up a view that shows everything. And I'm gonna view, go to view, select none. I'm also gonna make sure that section planes are turned off within this view. So I'm just gonna add a scene here. And so now I have two different scenes showing two different views of my kitchen. And so now that I've done all of this, I'm gonna save my model and I'm gonna send it over to layout. So I'm just gonna do a file, save. All right, and so once we've done that, once we've saved our model, what we can do is we can just go ahead and we can send our model to layout. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go up to File, 
send to layout. What that's going to do is that's going to open up layout and allow us to add this as a viewport within a plan. And so in this case, this is going to pop up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set a template. Whoops. So I'm going to go to my templates and I already have one set up. If you don't have one set up, you can just set up like a pay-per-view um, or there's some kind of pre-made templates in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open mine up by double clicking on it and what that's going to do is that's going to open this up as a viewport within layout. So you can see how now I can see this view and this view is currently set to my scene to view and you can check that by going into your SketchUp model section once you've clicked on this and you can look at the drop down for scenes and you can see which scene is selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my scale. So in this case, I'm just going to click the drop down and I'm probably going to go with a 3 eighths is probably going to give me what I want. There we go. And so now I have kind of a viewport showing my kitchen, but the problem is it's showing all these other views as well. It's showing like the pool and you can adjust some of these by adjusting this up and down. So by adjusting the size of your viewport, but that can get a little bit tricky trying to get exactly what you want. So what you can do instead is we're going to use what's known as a clipping mask. And so what a clipping mask is going to do is that's going to allow us to clip out everything that we don't want within our view. So in this case, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to draw a rectangle within layout over top of all of the things that we want to see. And so in this case, I'm going to draw a rectangle from this corner to probably about the top of this slab up above. And one thing that's a little helpful to me is if I go in here and I set the fill, if I go in here and adjust the opacity, and you can find that in the RGB, basically any of these except, no, even in the wheel, but I'm just gonna drag this down so that my opacity is about 50%. And the only reason I'm doing this is so that I can see through to make sure that I'm covering the right areas. This isn't gonna affect the way that the clipping mask works. But I'm just gonna resize this so that it gives me something right along the edge here. And so now what I have is I have a viewport and I also have a box over top of the viewport. And so now, I'm going to select my viewport, I'm going to do a shift click and I'm going to select my box as well. And you can go up to edit, create clipping mask. And so what create clipping mask is going to do is that's going to allow you to create a view within your model that only shows what was behind that box that we drew. So I can use this to clip out everything except that view. And so then I can kind of move this up above and I'm just going to hold the control key and click and drag to duplicate this viewport. And so you can see how now I have two copies of this viewport. And if you ever want to edit your clipping masks, you can just go up to edit, release clipping mask, and you can see how that turns that clipping mask back off. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in and I'm going to adjust this second viewport that I created so that it shows my first scene instead of my second scene. And so I'm going to, I'm going to size this out just a little bit just so you can kind of see what I'm doing in here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. So in this case, I'm gonna start a box right here and I'm gonna click and drag that over off to the side here. And you can adjust your fill or not, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna select my viewport and my box and do another edit, create clipping mask. And so now what that gives me is that gives me two elevation views showing exactly what I want within my model. And again, you can adjust this really quickly by just releasing your clipping mask. And in this case, I'm going to drag this so that I'm not showing my wall in here. And then I'm going to turn my clipping mask back on. And so this is a really easy way to really dial in your views within layout. And if you guys are interested, I can make another video on using clipping masks to create enlarged details in layout. So like, let's say you had a building or something like that, and you wanted to show an enlarged piece of a 3D view of a building, you can use clipping masks to achieve that as well. So leave a comment below, let me know if you're interested in that. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.